Now, last year, Devon and Cornwall Police decided to start breeding their very own canine recruits, and in June, the first litter was born. Since then, the seven puppies who make up the A litter have been put through a gruelling selection process. Yes, we're following their training right through to the passing out parade. Well, now, hot on their heels is the B litter, and Spotlight's Andrea Ormsby couldn't resist an invitation to meet the latest police dog recruits. We're all absolutely starving. Lunch is served and there are eight hungry mouths to feed. Hungry and noisy. Here we go. Nice and orderly. This is the bee litter, born in November. The second wave of canine recruits bred specially by and for Devon and Cornwall Police. We insist that each individual pup has its own individual bowl to eat from, so we don't get a situation where the bigger pups are bullying the smaller pups around the food bowl. And the other thing we do is we introduce uh, minced meat, which they love, into the food bowl while they're eating, just to get them used to a human hands being in and around their food bowl, and they don't make an association that humans around their food bowl are trying to take their food away from them. After lunch, time for a spot of exercise with Mum Molly. She's the second serving police dog to breed a litter and they've all been born here at Paul Glennon's home. It's time consuming, certainly the last three weeks. I don't remember much about the last three weeks. <laughs> it's a bit of a blur, but I still feel that that's the way to get the best out of your dogs, is to breed them at home, if you can. Obviously not all forces can do that. Police dog handler Daryl Drew and his dog Murphy. Murphy retires next year and so Daryl's here today to find his replacement. He's excited and so is his family. Thoroughly looking forward to it, they really are. Um, I think we're quite daunted with a two and a four year old at home as well as an eight week old pup now but we're really looking forward to it. The puppies will soon be handed over to their walkers who'll put them through as many different experiences as possible. Some even get taken on a boat. The bee litter is full of beans, ready to take land and sea by storm. Andrea Ormsby, BBC Spotlight, Puppy HQ. So cute, aren't they? Hard to believe in a few months' time they'll be I huge, I know, that's the they? problem. They're they so cute now, aren't they? grow up very quickly.